Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Azure Virtual Networks, also known as VNet, and the concept of subnets. So a virtual network, uh, and as we said, it stands for VNet, is a logically isolated section of the Azure network where you launch and uh, your Azure resources. And when you create a virtual network, you have to define a certain amount of IP addresses that you're going to use, which we call a site or range. We'll come back to that in a moment. But here is a graphical representation of your uh, VNet. So uh, here we have the Azure network. And then within that, we have a region, so US East 1. And then we would create our virtual network so that we can launch uh, our Azure resources within. And in there, we have two subnets, a public one, a private one. And then in the public one, we have a virtual machine. In the private one, we have a database. And the and the and in the public one, it's actually, uh, it can actually have access to the internet, whereas the private one, it, it does not. Um, so not all services require uh, a, vert, uh, a VNet, um, but most do. So because you just have to put your resources somewhere and they have to go into a virtual network, which are associated with an IP address, whether it's public or private. Um, and um, then there's other network controls that are involved. So now let's take a look at the CIDR range. So CIDR range, I said, is just an allocation of IP addresses that you are going to use in your virtual network. Uh, and all I want you to know is that, see where it says 10.0.0.0, that's the name of our network. But we have that forward slash 16, that is the CIDR range. And the lower the number, the, the more IP addresses you get. I'm not going to get into the math in this video. It's not necessary. But just understand that forward slash 16 is a very big number. Um, and that's the amount of IP addresses that we can launch. So we could essentially launch 65,000 servers within this virtual network. Uh, and so uh, we can subdivide our, our virtual network into subnets. So it's a logical partition of an IP network into smaller network segments. So that's what you're doing. You're breaking up it into uh, um, smaller IP ranges. And when you create a subnet, they have to be smaller. So you have to you have to define a CIDR range for those as well, but they have to be smaller than the VNet. Remember I said the higher the number, the lower it is. So when you have forward slash 24, that's just saying 256 IP addresses. All right. Um, and uh, one more thing is I want to note is that we have things called public subnets and private subnets. So public subnets reach the internet, private subnets do not. So when you have sensitive things like your database, you don't want that to be in a public subnet. But a web app, which uh, generally has traffic coming from it from the internet, that's okay. All right. And that's all we need to know here.